Hi and welcome. Uh, I hope you are good. Uh, today I'll be talking about uh, data manipulation technique where uh, we need to fetch the last row of each uh, group in a data frame using pandas. So uh, uh, let's import some of the required libraries numpy and pandas first and then uh, here I have created a scenario. Uh, so this is just a dummy data frame and the data frame would look like this. Now your data frame might not uh, look the same, but uh, the logic would be the same. So uh, this is the data frame. So there are, so in this case, the group is year. Now, as you can see, there are four rows for each of the year. So this is for 2019, then four rows for 2018, and again, four rows for 2017. So here we can say that uh, these are the, uh, four quarters of the year so the objective here is to as as i mentioned i need to fetch the last row of each group so the last uh, so the last row of each group uh, what i mean by that is uh, for this group i need to fetch the last row so this is the last row of this group of 2019 then uh, the for 2018 this would be the this would be the last row uh, sorry this would be the last row the seventh one and then for 2017, this would be the last row. So, uh, so what we need to do is we need to fetch these last row of each of the group. So there are three methods uh, which I'd be talking about uh, of doing this. So the first is the first method is using the group by and the tail method in pandas. So what we need to do is first df dot group by so group by in the group by will group by by the the, the group in, and in our case in our data frame the group is the year column so y e a r and i want for each of these these groups i want to find the last row so that can be fetched using p a i l method and we need to mention one so this, uh, so this, what tail does is it fetches the last row. Uh, tail uh, basically, when we are mentioning one, that means we want to fetch the last row. So if we run this, okay. So as we can see, this is uh, 2019, 2018, and 2017. We can verify the third one. This is the last one for 2019. Then uh, 2018. This sorry, 2017. This is the last row, sorry, 2018. And then for 2017, this is the last row. So it has fetched the, the required uh, rows properly. Now coming on to the second method, that is again using the group by method, but in case of, uh, but instead of tail, we'll be using last. In last, we don't need to mention uh, the number because last means uh, uh, fetching the last most uh, row of each group. Again, we'll do df dot group by again year dot last last. Okay. So again, as you can see, uh, the same data is fetched, but there is a little bit different difference here. Uh, first thing is uh, the the year is in the index and is not a column in the data frame. And now it is also, and in this case, it is also sorted. Uh, when we use group by and tail, it doesn't sort the data. It uh, fetches the data as it is present in the actual data frame. So this, this is also a technique which you can use. If we just want to convert everything to, uh, to a column in a data frame, we can just do reset, R-E-S-E-T underscore index. Okay. So uh, now the year is converted uh, as a column instead of an index. The last technique uh, I'll be talking about is again, uh, the first method is group by, but the second method that we'll be using will be nth. So let's do it. So again, df dot group by year dot nth. Now in nth, what we need to put in is minus one. Minus one will fetch the last row. Okay. 
I'll just run this uh, once more. So you can see the data is matching with the previous one. So the output of last and nth minus one looks almost the same. It, it's, it is the same. So uh, either you can use nth minus one or last. Now last is not a generalized method. Last will give the last. But in case, uh, suppose you want the second last uh, row instead of the last row, you can just put minus two. So let's compare. So for 2019, the last row it has fetched is, this, this is the second last row. So this is the second last row in 2019. Then for 2018, 54, 500. As you can see, this is the second last row. Below it, there is one more row. And for 2017, 3200, 123, 3200, 123. So uh, minus, uh, so another method is more uh, generalized than the last one, but you can use the last as well. Uh, uh, but tail, I prefer tail, uh, it's my personal favorite. Uh, so you can use any of the three techniques uh, to fetch the, the last row. So let's can change it to minus one. Okay, so these are the three techniques and techniques for fetching the last row of, uh, of a group uh, in a data frame using pandas. I have made a similar video for fetching the first row of the group uh, using pandas. So I'll put the uh, link uh, to that video in the description below. So I hope this was useful. Thank you and take care.